All right, so we're back on the workbench here. What we're doing today is we're installing a uh, Floyd Rose trim stop. So the whole purpose of this trim stop is to keep the block from uh, moving back and forth with the Floyd Rose so you know you're not uh, accidentally dive bombing when you don't want to. There's a lot of songs where you might, you know, you might go a whole set and you don't need uh, to use your Floyd Rose at all. So this nice trim stabilizer, trim stop here. You install this guy here. It's fully adjustable. Um, you can keep it so the block doesn't move, or you can adjust it so there's just a little bit of flexibility in the block when you're using the Floyd Rose. Um, I say back in the old days, what they used to do is when you'd hear people say, yeah, we're blocking the Floyd Rose, they'd actually cut a wood block and shove it down inside the cavity to keep the Floyd Rose stable, to keep it from moving. You know, if you didn't want to use it, um, some people actually used to take uh, gate latches, like this one right here, and uh, put gate latches in there. This one's, you know, way too big for this, but just to give you an example. So I don't know if the guys that uh, developed this got the idea from this or not, uh, but this was an old school method, just like, you know, actually blocking the, uh, the Floyd Rose itself with putting a wood block back in here. That's what they used to do. They used to mount a stick of wood block in here, put one back here. Like I say, some old school methods, but, you know, came a long ways. The guys that machine this here from Axe Labs, this is a really nice uh, precision machine piece here. So, you know, when you've got a nice expensive guitar or, you know, just want to do a nice quality job get yourself some quality parts here so anyhow this is what we're putting in this uh, Charvel Sandemus we're working on here today now I left two springs on here when I installed this and I actually took the springs off it just kind of give you an idea how I put this in I line this up with the center tooth on this claw right here to keep it right in the center um, I pre-drilled the holes uh, I left two of the screws out here so I could kind of show you what I did here so when I actually lined this up in the center with the claw, I took my uh, little clicky pencil here, went ahead, made me some marks on there, and I got a 1 16th inch drill bit, which is just a touch smaller than the screws that were provided uh, with this trim stop. I went ahead, pre-drilled the holes, and what I did here is I took a piece of electrical tape and I put this electrical tape on my drill bit to kind of give it a guide is when to stop drilling so you can kind of see what i did here by using the electrical tape um, gives me an idea when to stop so give you an idea here you can see yeah, it's going to work out perfect for what we wanted it to do here so always when you're working with wood products best advice i can give you pre-drill the holes even if they're self-tapping screws still pre-drill them keeps you from splitting Splitting the wood, you know, causing other problems that you don't want to have. I went ahead and I put two of the screws in already here just so I could show just so I could show you guys here what was going on. Um, make sure when you're doing it that you've got a good, you know, Phillips head screwdriver that actually fits, you know, the size of these Phillips head screws that are in here. So you don't want to use one screwdriver that's too big Phillips head and strip out the heads of the screws. Just another tip there, don't do that. So but when I did put this in here, a nice another thing about making sure that this is centered in here is you can also, if you need to, you can still put more springs on. Like I say, this is fully adjustable. You don't need to put these extra springs on. Um, but keeping it in the center allows you to use these other two pegs here on this claw. So if you want to put some extra springs on it. So again, pretty simple, self-explanatory how that works. You can adjust this. It's got two set screws on it. So if you do want the Floyd to actually float a little bit, it can still float a little bit. You can pretty much adjust it wherever you want. So really nice uh, piece here by Axe Labs that we're installing. So, all right, that's basically it. Like I say, if you don't feel comfortable doing, you know, something like this, installing this trim stop yourself, uh, you know, take, take it to a professional and have it done. Um, overall, though, if you're just careful, Take your time, like I say, mark things out, pre-drill it. Um, pretty self-explanatory how it works, you know what I mean? You're All you're doing is this this pin right here is keeping the, the block from moving back and forth. This is what, what's happening here, so the whole principle of it. All right, so I hope that helped out a little bit. Um, have a great day.